Hi everybody, it's me, uh, Scruffy Looking RGB. Today we're in uh, the place of all places we know, Super Potato. Today we're gonna check out some very uh, some games I don't usually check out uh, for the Wonder Swan actually. So um, it's a system I'm not very familiar with. Uh, I'm thinking about doing a mod on my uh, Wonder Swan that I bought way back in the junk. And uh, I'm looking for games. So if you have any suggestions, uh, put them in the chat or in the comments. Uh, if you can't catch the live, or excuse me, this is semi-live. It's previously recorded, but uh, I'll be premiering it like usual. Uh, I don't know a whole lot about most of these. I do have this game, Chocobo. It's like an RPG slash uh, beat-em-up kind of. Kind of not totally interested in it, and we've got Digi Digital Partner, Digimon. Oh, <laughs> Tetsuji Niju Hachigo. I do like that anime, but I'm not sure if it's a role-playing game or a um, an action platformer. I think it's role-playing, so it's probably not going to be something English-friendly. I did recently check out a website that uh, features English-friendly uh, Wonderswan games. It's called The Game Kraken, and I'll leave the link in the description below. But uh, I have a few on my a list on my, in my pocket here that I'm kind of looking for. Um, but I don't see any of those right here. So they do have a, a pretty big selection of uh, not big, but they do have quite a selection of Wonder Swan here. Um, here we've got, uh, and another thing about today's hunt, I'm looking for a black and white because I don't have the color version of the Wonder Swan, so we're just looking at uh, black and white. I mean, we're looking at color too, but uh, mostly I'm looking to pick up uh, black and white games. Got some mobile suit games, Bates Blade. An RPG, probably not English friendly, about 2,000 yen. That mobile suit comes in S, M, S, and B, S. Looks, can't really tell what that's about. But uh, let's go down here. We've got uh, one I just saw, Tetsujin Niju Hachigo. And I think I've seen this before somewhere. And, uh, hard to tell what it's all about. It says you can control the giant or gigantor as it's known in the US. 3,000, about 3,200 yen for that. And we've got uh, Tekken, but it's card challenge. So it's one of those card games and that's not very interesting for me. If it was just like a straight up fighter, that would be cool. Now there is a straight up fighter like the Street Fighter, I think it's called Pocket Fighter. If we find that, I might have to pick that up today because that looks pretty cute. I've never uh, played it myself though. We have Tare Panda Gunpei. <laughs> so like a panda version of Gunpei, which is probably like the Tetris for the Wonder Swan. You try to make these lines and uh, beat your opponent. You can play, I think there's a, a, a co-op mode, I'm not sure. With the Wonder Swan, but uh, kind of a puzzler type game. We've got uh, Tane o Maku, Tane o Makushima, Tane o Maku Tori, sorry. The bird that uh, spreads seeds. That's interesting. Looks like you're a uh, crow and you carry seeds of flowers and other things. It's kind of like a puzzle. That looks actually kind of interesting. I like that. Actually, this, this uh, Wonder Swan has some good puzzlers. The actual makeup of the Wonder Swan, I, I kind of enjoy the, the hardware itself. It's, it was made pretty well. As you may or, not, may or may not know, it was uh, actually 
um, produced by the same guy that produced uh, the original Game Boy for Nintendo, Gunpei Yokoi. So the funny thing about that is that he also, they named like, I think probably one of the first games that came out, Gunpei, or Gunpei, as you pronounce it in Japanese, which is his uh, first name, I think, Gunpei Yokoi. Pretty sure Gyokoi is his family name, but 1628. So about 1,600 yen for this one, and this is the, like I was saying before, this is the original Gunpei. I think it was also designed by Gunpei Yokoi. Pretty fun. It has like a spaghetti western style uh, theme to it, and uh, like versus modes and things. But pretty fun. I played a little bit of that. We've also got a color game here, uh, Kido Senshi Gundam, Volume 2. Pretty interesting. Down below we have, excuse me, we have a Densha Day Go here, a simulator for the uh, train. I know there's a lot of fans out there for uh, train simulation games and things, and it looks pretty cool if you're into that sort of thing. What do we have here? Wonder Classic, a golf game for 2000. It's a color game as well. We've got uh, Buffer's Evolution. I've never seen that before. It looks like a rock steady and something. Looks like an action platformer, actually. It might be fun. Excuse me. And we've got Final Fantasy II. And uh, Puyo Puyo, which is a fun uh, puzzler. 3,000 for that. Final Fantasy in the box for 638 yen. That's like about $5 US, I think. Uh, let's see, what else do we got? There's not a whole lot here. Baseball Stadium, Wonder Stadium, 99. 1,300 yen about. And this one here, Swan Coliseum, 1,500 yen. Uh, One Piece, Grand Battle. I think this is actually a pretty good one. It's for the color. It's a fighter. So that might be a good pickup for somebody who has a color. But I do not. And that's all the box games on the shelf here for the Wonder Swan. So let's uh, check out if they have any rare games. Oh, they got Pocket Fighter. That's one on my list. It's about 5,500 yen. Um, but that looks like a fun one. I don't know if they came out with Pocket Fighter. I think Pocket Fighter is also on the Neo Geo. I don't know how... This is also another fighter here, Guilty Gear. But it is also for the color. Um, this is for the regular black and white Wonder Swan. But Guilty Gear is also another fighter. It's pretty good. And Guilty Gear 2 is also another fighter for the color. So much cheaper than uh, Pocket Fighter. And uh, this is also on my list as well here. We've got uh, Genso Janja Maruka, which is a cool uh, action platformer, ninja style. Very reminds me of Ninja Kid or uh, one of those type of platformers for the NES. We have here. Magical Drop, another like Tetris style type game for 2,700. Probably a fun puzzler. Um, we got Rockman and Forte, which is also for the black and white Wonder Swan. Pretty cool to have a, a, a Mega Man game on the Wonder Swan. And Deep Mania, have not played that at all, but uh, it looks interesting. And that might be it for Wonder Swan games here at uh, Super Potato. So let's check out the. the what they got. Let's see if they have some hardware here. I don't see any. I don't see any Wonder Swans. Are they downstairs? I'm not sure. But I don't see any here on the shelf. I want to say they're usually like over here. 
but I don't see any. They had these here as well. This, I'm not totally sure, but I think that is a shooter actually for this game, which is pretty good for a shooter. A thousand yen? I saw a little bit of this on YouTube. I might pick, uh, I guess I can't, because it's color. Well then, we have, oh my goodness, Bokan Densetsu. I love the Bokan series. Um, Buta mo Dorombo. I love this series. I have the PlayStation game. Um, I'm curious what the play is like on this, but we might have to pick that one up. It looks like it's for the black and white Wonder Swan, so we'll see. But uh, I'm going to uh, do a jump cut here and we'll be uh, either at the hardware and uh, Super Potato or at another shop. Three, two, one. Okay, I lied. I did not uh, find the hardware yet, but I did find this awesome book all about Bandai game things, consoles. Pretty cool. 26, 2,600 yen. It's like Game & Watches and like a MSX type looking thing, RX-78. And they got the Wonder Swan here. So that would be pretty cool to look through. I kind of want to get a few of these, these magazines here. They've got one for every console. Mega Drive, Dreamcast, PC Engine, PlayStation, PlayStation 2, PSP, original PlayStation, Game Boy Advance, GameCube, Nintendo 64, Super Famicom, and my favorite, the Famicom. But this time, we're going to check out some Wonder Swans, so I'll be right back. Okay, we're back and we've got hardware here. Ignore that Neo Geo Pocket Hanshin Tiger version. So we've got some Wonder Swan crystals and uh, some loose ones and some boxed ones. So you can see the difference in price. This uh, pink one here is uh, 15000 one in the box here is a color. It says crystal black though. It's uh, 10,000, 21,000 for one in the box. The pink one, the wine colored. And uh, I've got this black one here that's uh, 16,000. It says the, the case, the, the battery case is a different color than the original. And uh, there's a box blue one here. Uh, 17,000. I don't know why this one is more expensive than the boxed one, but it's uh, 21,000. So that's all I can see as far as uh, Wonder Swan hardware here. Uh, so let's check out uh, the next one. Alright, we've got some interesting uh, display case Wonder Swan games. We've got Final Lap Special GT Formula Machine for 21,000. It's for the color. We've got Super Robo Tyson Compact 3 for 23,000. And Gunpei EX. It's uh, 10,000 for that. These are all for color. We've got Super Robo Tyson um, Compact for 18,000. So, not cheap at all these uh, Wonder Swan color games here. They've got, uh, yeah, that's it for the uh, color games in the display case. So, let's uh, see what else they got. We've got some uh, PC Engine games here. But we're not, uh, thinking about PC Engine games today. We're looking for Wonder Swan, and uh, they've got one here. Uh, 13,800 for the uh, wine-colored uh, crystal here. Oh, they have another. 
Another uh, crystal blue one. It's uh, 6,500, which is pretty cheap compared to the ones we've seen today, and it's because it doesn't read cassettes. So if you're not handy with a soldering iron and uh, refurbishing, you probably uh, might want to pass on that one. But uh, let's see if they have some box games on the shelf, shall we? Okay, we go up to the top. We've got... Uh, what have we got here? Riviera for 7,100. Wonder Swan Crystal. Only for the crystal. And uh, this one... <laughs> Debut? What is this? I'm not sure exactly. I'm not sure. I don't know. Sorry. What do we got here? Last Stand. This is a... Uh, it's like a role-playing game. Possibly strategy game. Wild card. Yeah, it looks like a card game. Not interested. We got front mission here, which is a shooter, maybe? A simulation game, sorry. We also have a Blue Wing Blitz. That looks like a shooter, but it's a simulation game, so. Plane simulation, I kind of like that. Final Fantasy 2 for 1,000. Final Fantasy Original for 1,300. We've got uh, King Nikuman here, action game, fighting action game. It might be fun, actually. I don't know how heavy that is on uh, Japanese. It might be fun for the color here. Pretty cool. Uh, what else do we got? Another RPG. Something Den. And, uh, probably a Genghis Khan game. And that's uh, pretty much it for the Wondrous One as far as I can see. So, we're going to wander to another place. There's a few Wondrous Ones here. Junk about uh, 2,000 yen a piece, but they got Quite a few colors, they're all black and white though. Silver, light blue, teal. We're pretty clean though. Sorry, I just have to. Look at this because Yokoi designed it and it's red. 3,300, this includes attacks. Thing looks immaculate. Quite a few GGAs here too. Let's move on to another place. So that was World Mobile, but we're heading on to another spot. We have uh, Wonder Swan Junk. It's got a slightly messed up screen. Not quite as bad as the one that I have. Clear black. It is black and white though. But it's cheaper than what I paid for mine. Might have to pick that up actually. That's a pretty good deal. So let's uh, head to the next shop. Kinikuma Nisei here in a uh, trader. About 3,000 yen for that. And the color. What is this? Cho There's another one. Chojin Seisenshi. For the crystal. 3,400. This looks like a, uh, like a graphic novel type. Style game. 
another Gundam Volume 3. 4,700 or 4,700. Mm. More Gundam, more Gundam. Ugh, Conan Final Fantasy 480. We got Hanjuku Eiyu. Hanjuku Hero for. Uh, this is another role playing game, probably. They had this on the uh, NES and also, or sorry, on the Famicom and also Super Famicom. 3,800, about 4,000. Yeah, it's definitely an RPG. Um, some uh, card gambling games here and Pro Mahjong. What's this? Oh, it looks like a card game. Is that JoJo? No. 3,000 for that. Final Fantasy 1 and 2 for only 880 yen. That's not bad. What's this? DJ Battle. 880. Huh. Interesting. Oh, we almost missed this. What is this? Crush Gear Turbo. Gear Champion League. There's a fighter. Mm, Role-playing fighter. All right. Let's see. The Game Boy games. Do we have any? There's a few crystals over here. Thirteen thousand for the blue. Sixteen thousand for the wine, and we've got Final Fantasy. Two version of the color for ten thousand. So a little under a hundred bucks for that one. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cheap, actually. I'm sure uh, some of you would be interested in that. We got GBA games here, but uh, I'm gonna go see if we have some loose. Do we have any loose? Games for the Wonder Swan. Let's check out. They've got some Ninja Gaiden in the box for the Game Gear and uh, Battle Toads too for the DMG and uh, that compact Super Robo Tyson. Seventeen thousand. Uzumaki. Uh, Choma Karimura or just Makaimura for the Wonder Swan. 13,000 interesting stuff. Well, that's about it here, a trader. Next uh, shop on the list is, uh, thank you, uh, Sudagaya. So we'll be right in there quick. Okay, we found a uh, crystal, 12,000. That's the only one I see in here. Famicom Lickle in there. Virtual Boy Games. Let's see if we can find some more Wonder Swan things. We've got quite a few systems here. The AV Famicoms are going for 5,000. We have a really yellowed uh, PC engine for 4,000. A red, clear red uh, N64 for 100. It's complete. It has a controller. All right. Let's see. Any wondrous one over here? It's a lot of Game Boy. Okay, I found the Wonder Swan selection, so we're gonna take a quick look. Some Virtual Boy stuff there too. Oh, what's this? We have a Wonder Swan uh, charger kit. <clears throat> 
Terrors and Last Stand. Got uh, Gunpei here and Evangelion. Robo Tyson 2 and uh, Chocobo Dungeon. Romancing Saga and Koibito Kun. Flash. That's got to be an interesting game there. A ninja. A ninja lover. Okay, we have a number of Robo Tyson 2. 4,100. We have Tare Panda for 2,500. Star Hearts for 4,300. Action role playing. And an action fighter, the Kinikuman for 3,000. I like how Surugaya labels the genre. Wonder Swan Arc the Lad for 5,000. And uh, another heaven. Another heaven. Action adventure. Hmm. Sounds cool. Looks like it's text heavy though. I'm not really sure how that's action adventure. With that dice game that they had for the PlayStation and Final Fantasy IV. Another Robo Tyson Crazy Climber, which I hear is a pretty good one. Of course, it's going to be 5,000 and up. A magical Drop 2 as well. All 5,000 and up games in the box. I think that was cheaper than Super Potato. The ones that we found were 5,000, but they were not boxed. So, Super Guy definitely has the better deal there. We've got uh, Romancing Saga, I believe. Maybe I'm wrong. Something Saga there, 5,600. So, role-playing games, RPGs, and we've got uh, maybe Card Capture Sakura for 26. And Terrors 2. It's a novel. Interesting. A bunch of loose ones here. We got Terrors for 7,000. 13 for this Gundam. We've got Armored Unit. Simulation game there. Another SD Gundam. Probably role playing, role playing. Inuyasha Adventure. But it looks like a role playing game. One of these is a good, that's a simulation Gundam game there. We've got a uh, another simulation Gundam game. 800 for this Retribution. Sammy, Shogi, we got Shogi, Japanese, checkers, kind of chess, or whatever, Generation 2 Gundam, another uh, Mahjong game, I'm sure, Senkai Denshiki, maybe, role playing, Detective Conan, what else we got, that weird one, that, the DJ battle game, 700 yen, is that, Terrors 2. Here we go. We've got uh, Tekken Card Challenge. Nope. Horse Racing. Densha Day Go. 15. Another Gundam game. What do we got here? Battle Spirit. We've got an action fighting game. Ooh. For the color. It's not. It has this interesting Digimon Link thing. I think this is the Digimon action platformer. So. Not bad for 12 bucks for the uh, color. Another Digimon here. Card game, no thank you. Another Digimon. Role playing. Another Digimon. Some sort of, maybe a comic style. More role playing stuff. We saw that one already. Oh, we got Namco, Baseball, Treasure Wars, Action, I like Action, that might be fun. One Piece, that might be good, Thousand, and uh, that's pretty much it for Wonder Swan. So, uh, I'm going to see if they have any hardware but actually I don't think they do so uh, let's uh, take a quick jump okay.
Okay, here we are at Retro Game Camp. We've got the black Wonder Swan that we saw earlier for 2,500 and a box silver Wonder Swan for 3,900. They do have quite a few loose games, Inuyasha, um, Bits Blade, With You, um, SD Gundam, some more SD Gundam, some Robo Tyson, Clock Tower, uh, 2,500 for that, Card of Fate, Chocobo Dungeon, Battle Spirit, Digimon, more Digimon, and uh, that one I was really interested in, Okan Densetsu. Really curious what that's about. Um, some more Treasure Wars, Ring, Spooky. One piece there for 480. What is this? Yofu Makkai. That's interesting. Choden Ka. Oh, it's a card battle. Nope, not interesting. And I think this is a shogi game. Conan. Conan. This Mr. Driller looks cool. This uh, 2900. It's for the color though. And uh, we got Macross here. Ooh. Macross for 1,400. Unfortunately, I looked at this game and it is a uh, role-playing game or like a one of those types. So probably not going to be a lot of fun for the non-Japanese speaker. Some more One Piece stuff. Ooh, what's this? Digimon adapter. Ooh, probably trade Digimon that way, I'm guessing. That's a cool little add-on. More One Piece and stuff. But, uh... That's pretty much here. I didn't see anything in the display case. Alright, so uh, today we picked up this uh, Wonder Swan here for 1,000 yen. The screen is a little bit uh, scruffy, but uh, we might have to do a mod on that later on. Um, if you guys enjoyed this Wonder Swan only semi-live uh, video here in Akihabara, please hit the like button and subscribe because I'm going to bring you more uh, game hunting and retro game modding in the next couple days or so. So if you really like a Wonder Swan, you might want to check out my next video up here. Uh, I'm going to be uh, putting a backlight in a Wonder Swan, so you want to check that out. But uh, thank you all for hanging out with me today. I hope you guys are happy and healthy wherever you may be. Uh, stay safe out there, but above all, stay scruffy looking.